Gets strapped in. It's just about time to get the party started. And we are underway here on EA Sports. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Yeah, Richardson will throw to start out here. Escaping the pressure right. He'll get this one complete there to Pittman. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Flushed out right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies have tried for something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. Here's second and 10. Second and 10, back to the air with Richardson. Flush to his right. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. For another good reception there. The Colts on the march from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. And Richardson looks to throw once more. Dancing to his left. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Now it's Richardson rolling to his right. Hits his target, the tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. They'll run here with Moss. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. So they get pushed back to the 11. And here's second and goal. On second down, it's Richardson to throw it. Eluding the pressure right. And his throw is incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. They'll go with a touch pass here, trying to pick it up. And he'll take this one inside the 10, down to the 8. That's a nice job there defensively, being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. Gay knocks this one through, and the Colts hit the scoreboard first. It's 3-0. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 18. They begin the drive with Johnson. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. There was a little space there, yes, but that was a well-executed run by the rookie. It was, and he wasn't one of the higher-rated rookie running backs coming in. And it's out. He put it on the carpet, and the Colts pick it up, and they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Well, he's not the starter coming in, getting his first carry off the bench. That's not the way to earn more carries. You have to stay in the game, even if you're not on the field, right? Stay mentally sharp, stay ready. And above all, when you get into the game, hold on to the foot. And a throw for Pittman is intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And the Bears are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. They brought the house that time on the young rookie, maybe a little rattled through the pick. 
and you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. So when you see that, the ball's got to get out of your hands quickly, and that means your receivers have to understand they have to break off their routes quickly as well. Here's a second and eight. On second down, a run with Herbert. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Field's going to keep it once more. And some space here. And Field's going to have the first down before sliding to a halt to avoid the contact. They'll send a receiver in motion left. On first down, it's Fields. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown, Chicago. Darnell Mooney. 32 yards, and the Bears have taken the lead. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And he is going to be stopped short of the goal line. Oh, they'll mark him inside the one. He just couldn't keep churning those extra few inches, and the two-point attempt is turned aside. And this is going to be taken in by the Colts. The risk reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them, and field position leads you to that type of play calling, and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, not that giving up that type of field position, the advantage is switched to their opponent. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Two yards to go, second down. There, Richardson back to throw it. Escaping the pressure right. This one completes Alec Pierce. Yeah. They'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Here's Richardson to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Again, it's Richardson sliding out of the pocket. Pass complete downfield. It's Pierce. Touchdown. Alec Pierce. 37 yards. And the Colts are once again back in front. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Now Fields. Flushed out right. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. They've moved the ball over 50 yards between this play and the last one. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. On first and 10, it's Herbert. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. 
It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Here's Fields. They'll set up the screen to Herbert. Touchdown, Bears! Khalil Herbert, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Bears have taken the lead. And he'll get into the end zone, so that pushes the lead up to four. So they elect to pass there on the two-point try. Sometimes could prove risky there. It worked out. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky because if you get it intercepted and they return it, that's two points for the defense, but not on that play. And Dallas Flowers going to bring this out of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. On third down, here's Richardson. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Moss. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. First and 10, it's Richardson. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by... And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And the Colts are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four-yard line. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. With this slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get... Oh, he's intercepted again. It's Richardson's third of the game. Picked off by Jalen Johnson. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. Now a first down throw. Fields trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. And the Colts are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. Well, when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. Uh, what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Richardson out of the shotgun. Flush to his right. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Third and two. On third down, it's Richardson. Eluding the pressure right. And this is going to be incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. They're able to find the open man. That's complete. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll run the screen with Moss. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. Now Richardson yet again. 
And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. Escaping the pressure right. He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Jaquan Brisker. And the Bears are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. Moore now to return. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears' offense. And despite the turnovers, Charles, and they had multiple in that first half, they still have the lead as they begin this third quarter. And they probably heard some conflicting tones at the half, don't you think? A lot of praise for what they did to get this lead, but also a little bit of scolding because they got to take better care of the football in the second half. But you and I both know the great leaders, they know how to give that little bit of vinegar in there and cover it with a big dose of honey. Now a good job shifting right, finding his target. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. From the 48-yard line, here's second and three. Off play action, Fields. He's got the connection to Moore. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. And off right side for Herbert. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. To throw his fields. Flushed out right. Oh, what was he thinking there? It's easily intercepted. Picked off by Julian Blackman. And the Colts force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And their defense did its job, forcing the takeaway there to start the half. And now can the offense follow suit? And you'd better believe that one side of the ball feeds off the work of the other. So they'll want to come out, establish some rhythm, and go down and take the lead. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. They'll toss this right side to Moss. And he'll earn a couple of tough yards past the 30 to the 31. Now a third and six. Now Richardson. Flush to his right. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll run on first down with Moss. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the shotgun, Richardson. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. Two yards on the pickup there. Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Richardson looking to throw this. That is caught. And he's got this down to the 35. They'll run out of the gun with Moss. They find some open field here. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Right back to Moss. And this time they were ready for him as he's taken down at the line of scrimmage. Now a second and ten. Richardson looking to throw. 
Eluding the pressure right. Going to throw right side here. Complete. And the Colts are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Moss is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Rolling to his left. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Mo Alley Cox from four yards out. And the Colts have taken a fourth quarter lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now 17-14. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. Moore now on the return. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Here's first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He's going to look deep for more. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Here comes second down. All eyes on fields. That is caught by Herbert. Down the left sideline. He may go. He may go. And he's all the way down to the 13-yard line. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and 10 here. Option. Here's Herbert. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Second down, they go back to Herbert. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The sound reverberating here in the dome. This is third down. They'll run with Herbert. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. Bears often stay in put. Justin Fields always a threat to run. They'll go for two here. They'll roll him out right. And he'll get into the end zone to make it a five-point game. And with a successful two-point try, the QB rolling out, I would imagine on the defense that makes it tough. When you, he goes out, he's got the option to run or pass. Yeah, it really does. If you decide not to bring extra people or extra pressure, maybe you have to have a spy on the quarterback, someone to account for him, because oftentimes that is the unaccounted for. come up first and ten here Richardson escaping the pressure right and that went too far in front he couldn't reel it in it's incomplete 
Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Flushed out right. He's going to let it fly. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Eddie Jackson.